Hi out there in the YouTube world. It's me again, the Puzzle Master. And I'm coming out to you with a video that's going to be about astrology and what the fuck is wrong with our little world, okay? The planet Earth. What the fuck? WTF. We got to think about it now. And we're really going to try to channel some higher energies here to get the point across to you. Okay? When you look around at all the people, you live in a city, you live in a little suburb, it, do, it still applies to you. Do you see the mainstream media? Do you see the mainstream news? Do you see what's going on in the world around you? Or do you just have your head submersed in a pile of shit that we'd like to refer to right now. It's Kim Kardashian. Huh? That's just gonna be... Why not? Because she's like the epitome of the Illuminati Triangle apex. Even though realistically she's actually nowhere near the top because she's just a wee little puppet. But she serves as a distraction to all you sheeple people that are just so willingly ignorant because People that have the most inner pain or, like, suffering caused from division, which has just been, like, created through mainstream media and brainwashing to make you all feel not complete and that you need more stuff. So then you use things like Kim Kardashian and project ourselves through her when we read about it. But, like, she never, she's never met you. She doesn't give two fucks about you. In fact, like... She doesn't give a fuck about anybody, including herself. That's why she kind of sold herself out, you know? Like, all the celebrities do. Especially Ellen. Like, there's so much crap painted on all the magazines about all these people. Like, I just saw this one the other day about Ellen in drug rehab, because she's been doing all the, like, I don't even want to get into all the stuff, but she's been doing a whole bunch of bad stuff, and she's in rehab. These are the people that we look at, or we as a society look up to, like, we're all fucking retards. Like, we're all, there's something wrong in our heads. If we have to look up to people just because they're all pretty on a magazine, but they're fucking drug addicts, and they've just been sponsored by oil industries to the, to the constant bombardment of applications of basically dirty money, that then they've used to like paint a picture of these celebrities, which is totally false. And even if it, any of it was true in context, for example, like if a celebrity had something happen to them, like I don't know, they got in a car accident, good one, okay, just as a random example, that might happen to them. But is that nearly as important as like there's Palestine and Israel having a war every fucking day? that they're murdering each other's children and with no regard for human life or sanctity and they want to have these little the world is a stage they want to have all these little distractions so that no one fucking pays attention to what's actually going on okay so i watched this documentary and it's all about astrology it was called Give me a moment. Well, just look up, look up uh, astrology documentary or zodiacs. Um, just so you know, uh, these are all astrology books. There's six here, big stack of books, and I uh, haven't read every single page of them, but I have gone through and read a lot, and I've had some of these books for years. So, do know a bit about astrology. And I was just wanting to relate that to also why the world is so messed up. Because not only are these these media distractions are to also keep you all uneducated. Because if your brain is full of Pokemon names and Yu-Gi-Oh! And freaking celebrity gossip, all this crap, there isn't going to be much room left in there. It's like a sponge. And if it's already fully saturated with bullshit then there's not going to be much room left for higher learning. Especially if all of the, the bullshit that you've already absorbed and saturated your brain with is of egotistical, 
materialistic things that are all about division, divide and conquer, then it's going to become even harder to assimilate higher knowledge because it's like oil and water. Okay? It's like if you had a sponge saturated in oil, dirty oil, like blood oil from murdering like people in Palestine and Israel because the endless war there for money and oil and power and control over the planet. Now that sponge wants to soak up some pure holy water. You're going to have to wring that dirty sponge out. That dirty sponge is your fucking brain. Okay? Like... Now, in this documentary, it talks about astrology. It's all about astrology and the zodiacs. And it's not just the... They, they called it the wheel of life, the celestial wheel. It's very important. It's not just referred to as the zodiac. And it was studied for thousands of years. Like, we've all known this, but, like, I've known this personally for a long time because I have lots of books. And in some of those books, it, it shows, like, the sarcophagus of like people from like 2,000 years ago that have all the zodiacs and like they used it in Sumeria and Babylonia like Mesopotamia it's the same stars people they, they nothing has changed like maybe they rotated but that's all that goes on it just keeps rotating like we know how space works people okay so they used to be very good at astrology like the kings and queens this was this is where you have to really pay attention the kings and queens had astrologers had magi had like sorcerers that actually like oversaw their day-to-day -day well-being to ensure their safety and they still use these things today even though everything's just everyone's so fucking asleep some of them are most of the elites would be still completely awakened because they never fell asleep because you're all the ones that it's such an, it's an important game to like win over because you, then you're just like their their war troop their token you know support our troops like you're just a part of, of the monopoly system that they created and if you're indoctrinated to just be worshiping them then you do nothing but helping the beast okay because you really have to look at our own society as being the problem and maybe it's not because of conflicts that are going on everybody needs to take a good look at themselves and realize what's going on in the world it's all about dividing us because the mainstream media is portraying it in such a way that all of these things that give us more individuality make us feel more special and unique are also things that are of ego that will want to, you know, like materialistic ego, like negative ego. And it just serves the opposite intent that really the media for thousands of years could have been doing a better job on. But uh, another thing with, you know, like it's the, uh, the awakening or the revelation. Revelation just means like the revealing. So now that everything's just being revealed like we all know about like oil and like the meeting on Jekyll Island and the suppression of energy technologies the suppression of ancient wisdom it's just gotta stop cause the people up there at the top are fucking crazy and they don't give two shits about you like I do that's why I just made this little video for you. I'm trying to wake you up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.